Hello, and welcome to mmlearn.org, a program of Morningside Ministries. And I'm Maria Wellish. I'm going to spend a few minutes with you again today to talk about some ideas for activities that you can do uh, if you happen to be an activity director in an assisted living, if you're a family member at home taking care of a loved one. These are some ideas for activities that make somebody feel purposeful, that are age-appropriate, and for most parts, gender nonspecific. They work as well for men or for women. And I try to keep these so low cost so anybody can do them. Recently, I was in a Home Depot or a Lowe's, I can't quite remember, and I was looking for paint swatches for my home. And they let you take them home and look at them. And so I don't consider this uh, theft by any stretch. But what I did was picked up a few pieces of the samples for paint. It was very interesting that some of these pieces have real texture that you can actually feel. And some are very slick or um, uh, have a high gloss to them. The idea for this is it's very important to integrate textures for people to be able to handle things. If a man had always painted, had paint chips or paint cards, this would be very appropriate. It can be used almost like a puzzle for matching colors. You could get three or four of the same ones and match them up together. You can even let the people at the store know what they're, you're doing, and they're most helpful, I promise you. I love that when you're working with seniors that we're doing age-appropriate activities, that they're not playing with puzzle pieces that their grandchildren would be playing with, but playing or at least feeling that what they're doing has some purpose. So it might be just asking somebody to match it, or which color do you think we should paint the wall? This might require a little bit more of your being involved in this activity, but maybe not. They may just match them by the different sizes and not be concerned about color, and it would work like this. So there's so many different ways to work with that, but what a wonderful way for almost no money at all to be able to spend a little bit of time with somebody or give them something to do so that you can attend to something else if that's possible at that time. Make the activities purposeful, meaningful, enjoyable. Something to talk about as well. So you'll see more ideas as we continue to produce this, and we have plenty of ideas. Thank you so much for joining us.